he's flying just behind him is Pruitt and just behind him is Michael Andretti as Michael comes up to challenge Scott Pruitt and now Michael Andretti is in direct contact with third place all the way from the back. He is now just behind Cheever and carving his way up. Now let's always keep in mind yellow flags. Any yellow flag, even though Michael's on the same lap, he's just about to pass. He's just oh. about to pass Cheever there. He made contact close. again. Michael driving for all he's worth comes right up and taps at the back of Eddie Cheever's car. Well, we know Michael still has a chance to win this race. It's just totally possible. He just can't drive any harder. It's typically the same way he's driven all year. He's really chasing it hard. And the point is, if you think he's being too aggressive, hey, wait a minute, take a couple of laps to get by Cheever. He can't afford to do that if what he's thinking is win. He's got to get by Cheever now, and that's why he gambled as much as he did. But, Sam, you can't say Eddie Cheever's giving it up. Boy, look at that Eddie, I've never seen Eddie Cheever drive this hard, hard since he's been in kart racing. Eddie Cheever definitely can hustle a car, is doing so now as both of them are traveling incredibly fast around this circuit. Michael closes in, Eddie Cheever protects the line and remember this is a point in the race on a very hot day in Denver in which their brakes are definitely fading. Their tires aren't as hearing as good as they can so anything that they do when they run close like this has a certain very certain element of danger. Of course, now of course Michael no longer has the element of surprise. He's trying him down there on the inside. They come in, they lock on. together, they almost did. He, oh. That was incredible. Great both driving cars by totally both men. locked up there. Yeah. Both oh. totally locked. Remind you of going to a Saturday night midget race. The guys are running these race cars, these Indy cars, I think harder than we've ever seen on a street court. Bumping, a little bit of bang.